Good day grade 11s. Welcome to this last lesson of week 13. In this lesson we're going to revise the tan graph and we're going to use exactly the same method that we used for the sine and cos. So let's start by just plotting some points. But notice again that this time we're going from minus 360 degrees to 360 degrees. So let's get out our calculator. So this time we're going tan, tan of negative 360 degrees minus 360 and we close it and we say oh look it equals zero so tan of negative 360 is equal to zero tan of bracket negative 270 bracket is even to a math error and the reason it's a math error is because this is an asymptote so what we're going to write here is not applicable it is an asymptote which means I'm going to draw a little dotted line over here right let's do minus 180 so we're gonna go um, let's just go XC oh sorry exit okay and let's delete that and then we're gonna go minus 180 and we're gonna go all the way to the end and then we're gonna press enter and it's back to zero back to zero. Let's do tan of minus 90. So it goes zero here and this is at 360. Zero, tan of minus 90. Tan of minus 90 is going to be tan of bracket minus 90 close bracket equals again math error. So here is another asymptote at minus 90. It is again an asymptote. Okay, so do you see that we've got asymptotes every 180 degrees? So where do we expect the next asymptote to be? We expect the next asymptote to be 180 degrees to the right, which should be at 90 degrees. We also expect the next asymptote to be after that to be at 270, but we're going to plot the points in and see if it works. Now let's look at tan of a minus 45 degrees. Tan of minus 45. So let's do that. So we're going to go, okay, fine, exit, and we're going to delete those two and go 45 and go to the end and say exit. And that's minus 1. So tan of minus 45 is minus 1. So we know that at minus 45, this is going through 1. Let's do tan of 0 tan of 0 is equal to 0 which is awesome tan of 45 now again we should start recognizing this graph now because we've done it last year in the grade 10 tan of 45 is 1 so tan of 45 is 1 let's check if our tan 90 is an asymptote so we've got tan of 90 and again it's a math error so we know that it is an asymptote we're right and that means that we are right about the 270 as well the 270 as well and we've got now let's do tan of 180 tan of 180 oh that doesn't work Let's try again tan of 180 and that is zero so we were perfectly correct it is zero and if we do tan of 360 we're going to find it is zero as well now do you see that we have a bit of a problem with this graph because we can kind of see what's going on here we know that this graph does this over here but we haven't plotted enough points to see what is going on over here. We know that this is an asymptote and we know that it goes through zero here. But do you see that this graph is actually repeating every 180 degrees, every 180 degrees. So in fact, my period for the tan graph is actually 180 degrees. But now let's talk about how I'm gonna find out what this is. Do you agree that the asymptotes are 180 degrees apart? This bit here is zero 
and it's zero again in 180 degrees and then it's zero again again in another 180 degrees at 360 degrees so do you agree that at 45 degrees, if I add 45 degrees plus 180, which is going to be 225 degrees, this graph should go through 1. And if I go minus 45, which is where this is, and I add 180 degrees, it should go through minus 1. But let's just check that with our calculator. So let's get tan of 225. Tan of 225 is 1. Yay, we were right. And let's do tan of 135 and that's minus 1. So therefore we can see that this graph here is repeating and it's going through this. So do you agree that therefore we can see that this pattern should do this and this again it's going to go through a minus 1 here and a plus 1 here and it's going to repeat like this okay and it's going to come down like that so that is your turn graph from minus 360 to 360 but please note that this time the period of this graph is 180 degrees so in fact we've got one two three three and a half Four. We've actually got four of these graphs within the full three six three seven hundred and twenty degrees from minus three sixty to plus three sixty, which is what we expect. Let's talk about the amplitude. The amplitude is not applicable. Why? Because do you see that this is just going to carry on from minus infinity, well from pos from minus infinity all the way to positive infinity and similarly with the range if the range is just going to be that y is smaller than infinity and bigger than minus infinity so which points do we use for this tan graph we use our asymptotes and what else we use this point here as zeros and we use our 45 1 and our minus 45, minus 1. And those are really the points that help us find out what the shape of this graph is. The rest we just carry on all the way to positive infinity or minus infinity. Right, now let's have some fun and do some things to this graph. Okay, so now we've got y is equal to 2 tan theta. Y is equal to 2 tan theta. And I have just pointed out to you that we know that minus 90 degrees is an asymptote and 90 degrees is an asymptote that's not going to change by multiplying it by 2 minus 270 is also an asymptote and 270 is an asymptote and remember in the previous graph I really just used these numbers here I used the 45 naught and minus 45 to find the values of what was happening and what the shape of this graph was and at 0 tan theta was 0 tan of 45 was 1 and tan of minus 45 was minus 1 right so what do we know we now know that we're doing y is equal to 2 times tan theta. So what are we doing? We're actually doubling the y value of this. So where it used to be at minus at minus 45 it gave me minus 1. Now 2 tan theta is going to be giving me minus 2. 0 times 2 is just 0 and 1 times 2 is 2. So what's going to happen? A 0 is still going to be a 0. This is now at minus 45 it's going to be at minus 2 and at 45 it's going to be positive 2 so my graph has actually kind of stretched it's been stretched vertically okay and remember the way we worked this out we said that the period of this graph was 180 degrees so every 180 degrees we had to have the same points okay with the same y values so if I go 0 plus 180 I'm going to go through 0 and if I go 180 plus 180 I go through 0 and similarly if I subtract 180 I'm going to go through minus 180 and if I subtract 180 I'm going through minus 180 now let's plot these points 
minus 45 minus 180 gives me minus 225 and at that point it's going to be the same as that so that again is going to be minus 2 and if this is at 90 and I subtract 180 I get minus 135 and now this is at 2 so that there is my new tan graph I'm terribly sorry I'm really bad at drawing this and then let's just go through this point and that point actually it's not it's through this point and that point so it's going to be up and then finally it's going to be going through here okay so what has happened when we multiplied this by 2 all that we've done is we've stretched this graph where the significant point here is now 45 2 so before it was 45 1 it is now 45 2 the amplitude is still not applicable and the range is still from minus infinity to infinity and the period is still 180 degrees we haven't messed with the period of this graph at all let's look at something else we can do let's say we've got a negative tan theta and again I'm gonna draw in my asymptotes at minus 270 and at minus 90 and at minus 90 and again at 270 now again I'm just going to use these points here and then extrapolate both ways to help us get these points so we know the tan of theta is 0 at 0 degrees tan of 45 degrees is 1 and tan of minus 45 is minus 1 but now we're going to be talking about minus tan theta so what are we doing we're effectively going minus 1 times tan theta so whatever that value is we are multiplying it by minus 1 so at minus 45 degrees tan theta is minus 1 we're multiplying it by what minus 1 so we end up with 1 0 times by minus 1 is just 0 and this becomes minus 1 so what have we done again the negative in front all it does is flip this graph across the x-axis so we're now we're still at zero here but it is now at minus 40 degree, 45 degrees it's at 1 and at 45 degrees it is at minus 1 so now the graph looks like this okay and again if we extrapolate out 180 degrees from here so remember the period of this is still 180 degrees 180 degrees from here takes me over to 225 180 degrees from there takes me to there and 180 degrees from here takes me to my sorry that was 135 this is 225 and again I'm just going to join the dots and then if I take this plus 185 degrees I end up over here and I just join the dots now let's go backwards if I take my 180 degrees this way I end up at minus 225 the 90 minus 180 is minus 180 degrees and 90 minus 180 degrees is giving me 135 minus 135 so there is again my tan graph and similarly it's going to look like that so do you see the amplitude hasn't changed the only thing is now we have flipped the graph so this negative in front of it flips it across the x-axis the x-axis just as it does in the sine graph and the cos graph so the amplitude is again still not applicable your range is still from minus infinity to infinity and your period is 180 degrees still right let's see what happens when we add one so again I'm just going to start off by writing in we've got 270 degrees we've got minus 90 90 degrees 
and 27 degrees and grade 11s again like I've said with your sign and graphs you should be able to draw this graph the basic tan theta just like this you should know that it's going to go down here up through there up through there and an asymptote here at 90 and minus 90 and that is going through 45 and minus 1 and 45 and 1. So you should be able to do a little graph like this nice and quick and breezy so that you can manipulate it. Okay, So you should be able to do that before you go into any paper 2 exam which has got trig in it. And again I'm just going to be looking at these three points and then we can extrapolate out either way. So we know the tan of 0 is 0, tan of 45 is 1 and tan of minus 45 is minus 1. But now we are looking at tan theta plus 1. Tan theta plus 1. So what are we doing? We're taking whatever this value is and we're adding 1. So this time it goes minus 1 plus 1 which is going to be 0. 0 plus 1 gives me 1 and 1 plus 1 gives me 2. So if I plot this we now have that at minus 45 the graph is at 0 at 0 the graph is at 1 and at 45 degrees the graph is at 2. So what has happened is that this has shifted the graph up. All it's done is shifted the graph up by 1. That's all it's done. And then again by extrapolating out if this is at 0 this is now going to be 180 and also 360. If this is at minus 45 this is going to be at 135 and if this is at 90 it's going to be at 225 and we're going to end up with another graph like that and similarly we're going to end up with this here and if we go backwards this 90 minus 180 gives me minus 135 at 180 it's going to be minus 180 is going to be 0 and at minus 225 it's going to be at that so it goes like this and finally it's going to be going through here and through here and it goes up like that so you can see that we've shifted the graph up okay by one the amplitude is still not applicable the range, however, is still minus infinity to plus infinity and the period hasn't changed, it's still 360 degrees. So let's go through our standard form. Our standard form is y is equal to a tan theta plus q. The amplitude is just going to affect how much this graph is stretched and the q obviously shifts the graph up or down so with the q shifts the graph vertically where if q is bigger than naught we obviously choose moving the graph up and if q is smaller than naught we are shifting the graph down now grade 11s please 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 make sure that you know how to draw these tan graphs and make sure that you know how to manipulate them and not just always have to plug in the numbers for the calculator please practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section have a great day mm -hmm.